Welcome back to Raven's View. Today we're going to take part two of uh, finishing up our gooch or wolf head design. If you didn't see part one, then uh, I would say go back and see part one before we move into part two. Okay, everybody, here we go. Let's see, where can we go? How about the, we'll go to the cheek area. So down here in the cheek area, we'll do something kind of similar. We're going to kind of have a theme of this this squiggly squiggly T-shaped relief flow uh, that's going to happen throughout the design. And for this one we're going to do the same thing except it's going to hook over and curve into this corner. So I'm going to turn my book sideways and we're going to make this little rainbow to start off with. So right over here this rainbow shape is going to come up and quite a bit higher make sure it's it's up there pretty good and then as it comes down it's going to disappear over into this far corner and this is going to be a closed corner closed shape. We're not going to leave it open like we did on the other designs or the other primary U-shapes. Alright, now I'm going to put this imaginary line or actual line that, that we're not really going to use uh, later. We're going to erase. So draw it very lightly. And then the same thing that we did before, we're going to take this over and start to bridge off of this uh, curve off of this top of the rainbow and then flow across using that center line as a guideline and then we're going to start to curve and make our way as if we were going to go into that corner but instead of going into that corner we're going to kind of stop at a dead end same thing on the other side, flow and curve, curve up, go across as we get towards the top, we're going to hook it in and pretend we're heading into that corner, but instead of reaching that corner, we're just going to stop and, and hit a dead end and it's just going to float there. All right, now let's uh, erase some lines. So we have this imaginary center line we can get rid of and the top of this rainbow. We're gonna knock down so that we have this relief. This is inside here is gonna be a negative space, the negative space and a negative space. Inside here to balance out the positive space, primary space. So there we go, we have this uh, kind of shape here and it mirrors up to this side. Now we're going to go up and that's pretty much it for this this uh, cheek. I think we'll just leave it as that for today. Up in the ear we're going to play around with the ear a little bit. We're going to take this ear and we're going to kind of split it up into two parts. And the way that we're going to split it up or, or find the middle, find the middle of, the, of our U up towards the top and that's going to be, we're going to turn this into another U shape down across here. We're going to use this this top as uh, one part of the U and then we're going to curve off and kind of make another another U and this is going to come down towards the center so this is our center here just for reference and it's just going to flow, flow down, straight down there. But before it gets all the way to the bottom, we're going to do a little hooky-do. And we're going to hooky-do this over and give it a little bit of a curve. So we kind of divided the space up now into two, two sections. This little corner up here, this imaginary line that I use, I'm going to erase that little imaginary line. It's just a figment of your imagination now. We don't even need it. All right, take that there. And now we're going to come over and we're going to do a half of a rainbow. 
like like we did before uh, the full rainbow so we're going to start on this side and come out and then have this rainbow it's not going to go up as high as the other rainbows that we had so it's going to come up and instead of going all the way over we're just going to do a little bit of a curve a little bit of a curve up once it gets to here and we're going to flow up towards the top and then once we get in we're going to tuck in tuck into that corner up here all right something like that mm, let's see make sure this line is straight though i get i see a little wiggle in here and it should be straight i must have i must have did a little little woggle wiggle woggle with my pencil as I came through there so you want to have that line straight just curved right here and then a little curve this is kind of an S shape that's in here we're gonna break this space up by putting a circle right in the middle of this side so find this the center of your S shape in here and we're gonna break it up with a little circle something like that now on the inside, so the, or not the inside, but the other side. So on the other side, let's go over and this little curve we do right here that we're going to have. We're going to kind of turn this into almost like a, a, a ovoid that is kind of, I don't know, kind of weird looking, a weird looking ovoid, I guess. So we're going to use this as kind of our ovoid shell, and then we're going to break off and say okay here's an ovoid an ovoid is going to come over and connect onto this side or a U shape really I guess it's kind of like a U when we finish though it's going to maybe look a little bit like an ovoid half ovoid half U kind of mutant and then on the inside we're going to closed closed corner make a, a form line shape in here so come out of this very far far corner and then taper out and then as we get up towards the top we're going to leave a little more space on the top wider medium skinny and this is just going to do the follow that hooky do all the way around and this is just going to come down to the bottom a little bit of a hook so this is kind of a, a, a different shape in here like a teardrop shape almost and then we're going to do something with the top up here. So we're just going to put like a little cap, a little U cap on the top here. This little U cap is just going to come up and probably about, oh, maybe halfway, halfway of a cap. So find whatever halfway space you have here and put a little U shaped cap on it somewhere around there, something like that there we go that's a little better just fixing this corner it didn't quite look symmetrical after I was looking at it again and the idea is to try to get it as symmetrical as you can that means sometimes you got to go back and make little adjustments a little better yeah all right um, let's see what else can we do here I think that's pretty much it for the ear so if if we go in and color this ear in this might be like red and this might be red and we could even do like another color up here maybe like a, a little bit of a blue to to spill into it here so to indicate red I'm gonna go back and put diagonal lines across just to show that that's different this one will do red too, I think, over here. So over here, I'm going to put some diagonal lines across just to indicate that this is not negative space and it's not 
the primary shape. And this little spot up here, maybe we'll do like a teal or a blue or a green. One of those colors. And to indicate that that's a third color, I'm going to put a little grid. A little grid in there. All right, we have uh, teeth and an eye. Let's go with uh, let's go with the eye. Okay, so now we have this ovoid eye socket inside here. We're going to put an eye inside the eye socket. To put an eye inside the eye socket, we're going to make another ovoid, and it's going to f it's going to be kind of floating. So when you put an ovoid inside of an ovoid you want to make sure that it's it's closer to the top than it is on the bottom so the negative space from here to here is going to be less and the negative space between here and here is going to be more so to indicate where I want to put this ovoid I am going to sketch out and just find where I, I think I might want it to live somewhere around there towards the top the bottom I'm going to sketch out again a little bit of an arc, just a little bit, and say, okay, where do I want this sucker to live? Has to be more space down here. So something like that. Bigger, skinnier. The sides, we want to leave a little bit of space because we're going to put some eyelids that point out. So I'm going to sketch in a little bit of a block, just kind of block it in. And on the other side, same thing block it in, something like that. Ideally, the space from here to here is going to be the same from here to here. And it looks pretty close. It might be a little bigger on this side, so I might I might go back and just make a slight adjustment. So that we have equal space on both sides. That looks a little better. Alright, so now that I have that blocked in, I'm going to curve and turn this into an ovoid. The top corners are going to be a longer curve towards the top. Same thing on the other side, a longer curve towards the top. And the bottom is going to come down and have a shorter, quicker curve. Down, shorter, quicker curve. And then sometimes the bottom here is going to be slightly upwards, sometimes flat, but you can have a little bit of a bend kind of up that up that direction. All right, block out these, uh, erase these corners. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Corners are all rounded. Everything should be rounded. No pointy corners on your ovoid. There shouldn't be any sharp corners on your ovoid. If there is, go back and adjust them. I'm going to go back and just make sure that everything flows nice and smooth here. All the way around. Make sure to knock down any of the corners. I see a little teeny bit of a corner here. I'm just going to round it out. All right, that's not too bad. Oh man, this corner, this this corner has more of a sh curve in, than this one. I can see it. Um, well, we'll just make a little adjustment. I'm gonna. It's always tough. It's always tough to get that corner for me to match exactly from one side to the other. There's a trick that a lot of artists do when doing form line is they will use tracing paper and copy the, the curve on one side and bring it over to the other side so that it is exactly symmetrical. When you're doing it freehand by hand it's a little tougher and you kind of just kind of have to make a few adjustments. That's okay. It's all practice. It's all for fun. Let's see if that's a little closer. A little bit. All right, let's see. Maybe third time's a charm. Maybe you got it already. You probably got it already. You're just waiting for me. That's okay. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll go with that. All right, now that we got that ovoid in here, we're going to put the eyelids, and the eyelid corners are going to come over 
from the bottom to the top, you want to go up maybe, and this is always the variable, you can move it higher, you can move it lower, all kinds of artists do it different ways, and everything that I'm doing here is a variation, so there's so many different ways to do all of this, so don't think that this is the one way to do it, this is just a way that we're doing it today, and um, you know, you can make lots of little changes. So for today, this eyelid is going to be about a quarter from the bottom up from the bottom and I'm going to go out to where I want the the corner of my eyelid to, to be uh, to, to end and then the same distance in height on this side and kind of eyeball it and say okay somewhere around there that should be pretty close all right now now that we have that there on the bottom of the eye I'm going to put a little fine line and we're gonna we're gonna curve around parallel to this eye, same distance all the way across, and then curve up, just to start off with. Okay, now we're going to go back over to our point, and the point we're going to make uh, extend over to this and connect to it, but instead of just going straight over and down, we're going to curve up ever so slightly up before we curve down into here. So, starting this point, we're going to curve up very teeny little bit, little bit of a curve up, and then as we get closer to that eye, bingo, we're going to flow down into that curve. Same thing on this side. Instead of going straight over ever so slightly, little teeny bit of a curve arc upwards, 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 just a little bit before we come down and bango right into that, right into that curve. All right, there we go. Now we're going to do the same thing at the top. Well, not the same thing. We're going to start the same way. Uh, we're going to use this same width that you have, the distance from here to here, come up to the top and make that line width, or not width, the distance away from your eye all the way around with a little fine line and stop about there. Okay, now this part this bottom part we had a little bit of a curve before it swayed into this bottom from here up it's just going to be a straight line no curve no curve on this one just a straight line connect dot to dot so the only part that it's going to curve is up here where we already put the curve already so this is just going to be a straight shot a straight shot straight shot straight shot connect right up to that curve all right same with the other side straight shot over straight line right over to that spot straight shot bango <clears throat> and there's an eye teeth and uh, I think we're done okay teeth there's lots of different ways to do teeth as there is everything else that we've been doing today we're going to do our teeth um, let's see we're gonna find the middle the middle of our mouth man this is a big mouth he is like ready to chomp some something up or maybe he's howling I don't know find the middle of this mouth and this back corner and let's see we're gonna kind of uh, leave some space in between the teeth so that you can kind of you know almost like he has his mouth open and his teeth are, are apart a little bit so we're gonna start here and go across towards the front of the mouth and just draw a very light line. We might adjust this just a little teeny bit, but let's see what we can do. Straight line. It should be the same distance though from here to here is what you want to do. So as you start to go across, you want this line to be parallel to the top of the mouth. Okay, that looks pretty parallel, pretty close. Same thing on the bottom now. Um, we're going to start and from here and draw a line out and have parallel to this bottom part of the mouth. And really, it's going to be the same width, hopefully, from here to here. The top teeth and the bottom teeth should have the same, the same height on it. So, that looks pretty close. I think that'll work. All right, now, 
we are going in and, and uh, we're going to leave a I, I, I brought him longer a little farther than we're going to need so we're going to make a little bit of space for our front canine teeth i'm going to race back a little bit here so i'm going to say okay you know what the canine teeth are going to be based off of this bottom lip maybe somewhere around here I'd say so let's say that's gonna be like the the width of one of my canine teeth so that's gonna come up and, and match from here over is gonna be the molars and here is gonna be the canine so we're gonna draw this line so that we know where the ending is gonna be and this ending is gonna match the top so it's gonna come back out and Somewhere around here is the end of our um, molars. Okay, now um, we're going to put three teeth on the top and three on the bottom. So we have to divide this into threes. So this might take a little bit of uh, guessing and guesstimating and going back and adjusting. So I'm going to put a little mark maybe here and then a little mark maybe there to see. Does that look even? Maybe. From here to here to here to here you want to have it maybe this one's a little bigger let's let's go out here does that look better anyway you can do it on yours the idea is you're gonna you're gonna have this width the same break it up into thirds that's pretty close okay so now from here we're gonna go up and do the same width so wherever this is at this is gonna be the same width straight up here same width there all right, now um, we'll break these teeth up. So instead of just going straight up, uh, since the mouth is at an angle, the teeth the teeth should be slightly at an angle of a line. So instead of going straight up and down, we're going to bring it a little bit back at an angle so that it shows that the teeth are, um, you know, moving with the mouth. <clears throat> And this is going to come up, and this is going to come up or down. There we go. So we got four molars there, or not four. We got three and three, six, I guess. Uh, we'll go back and adjust these in just a minute. The other part we're going to do is we're going to get these canine teeth in here. So to get the canine teeth, I'm going to turn my book sideways so that I can get a nice arch. And the arch is, what I want to do is I want to have the arch end here at the end of the lip, close to the end of the lip, so there's a little bit left, and then kind of arch across to the top here. So I'm going to sketch out just a little bit, a little bit of an arch. You might adjust it a little bit here later, so there's a little bit of an arch there. And I'm also going to come over here and put a little bit of an arch from here to here, this corner to this corner. Just a little one. Very little light arch from here to here. And this is just to help me get the flow of where our canine teeth are going to be at. Canine teeth is going to come from here and it's going to come down, and I want it to and somewhere around here let's try there and then that same distance let's see this tooth is going to come over and end mm -hmm, maybe around here something like that let's try that all right so if that's where i want it to end i'm going to make a curve from here where it's going to end down to the bottom and then curve to this point. So a little bit of a curve, just a slight curve, slight little teeny curve from here to here. And then my other tooth is going to stop here, the pointy part of it. And um, this distance here, we're just going to have a, a parallel line uh, running across. So it's the same distance, a little bit of a curve, slight, 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 slight little curve. Let's see, did that work? Oh, I'm sorry. Did that not work? No, maybe it didn't. We don't want it to end there. We want it to come down here. I'm going to the wrong place. 
I want it to end down here. There we go. Let's see, how's that looking? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna extend this out. I, I said this before. We're gonna this lip. We might make an adjustment after the teeth get in here. So the teeth are a little bit bigger now that we're on the end of it than the lip is. So I'm just gonna extend the lip down. So I'm gonna put this back so that it's nice and parallel, and then and then it's gonna end right to there. So if that if that tooth goes to there. Then I really want my lip to come out just a little bit past that tooth. So we're just going to make a slight little adjustment here and extend that lip out just a little teeny bit before we come up. Round off this corner so that we make a lip and not a beak. That'll work. Okay. So, um, these canine teeth will come in and we got this other line here we're going to get rid of so that it just comes to that point. Define this one, darken it in, now that I find where I can see where I want it. This one's going to have a little teeny bit of a curve, 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 and down. There we go. Okay, um, now we're going to round off these, these teeth here. So we're going to round off just the corners, so um, the, the teeth are going to be pretty much flat here, except for this is going to come up and then flare out. And this side is going to come up, flare out. Same thing here, it's going to come up, flare out. Come up here and flare out. And you guessed it, same thing here. This is going to come up and flare out that corner. And after I flared those corners out, I can get rid of this other line that's in there. We don't need that inside the teeth, so basically we're just going to get a little floss and floss through the teeth and clean that sucker out of there. It's good to floss. You soak the floss every day. Same thing up here. We're going to take these teeth and round them out. Round out the corners. How's your design looking? I think we're getting really close. This might be it. This might be it. Okay, I'm going to go and just uh, make sure all these lines are nice and dark now and uh, make sure they're in where I want them to be. You can go back with your eraser and erase a couple little things, clean it up a little bit. This is uh, the final stretch. I didn't really make these lines inside the teeth that dark yet, so I'm going to go back and make them a little darker. Close. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, boy, those are some big chompers on this one. <laughs> big teeth. Woo! Well, you know, you can adjust them. They don't have to be this big. Now that you know how to do it, we can uh, we can go back and make another one. Make them a little smaller. I probably made this mouth a little big, actually, just looking at it. <laughs> 
This is a big mouth. That's okay. You got the idea. Um, really, the eye should have been the biggest portion here, but it really looks like this mouth. This is like uh, Goldilocks, you know, I think. And uh, this sucker is ready to eat Grandma and Goldilocks, I think. Just, he's, he's just hungry. Hungry. All right, let's see, look at colors here. So inside here, this is all black, like I said. Uh, this is going to be red up here. This is also going to be red in here. This is going to be a secondary shape. And to indicate that it's red, like before, I'm just going to put some diagonal lines in here. And this is going to be a secondary color. What else? Uh, red, back in the cheek. So back here, this is going to be red as well. So again, I'm going to put some diagonal lines to show that that's red. Or if you're not going to color it, you can just use these diagonal lines and leave them in there. Just a black and white image drawing and this gives it a little bit of texture. Now the eye, inside the eye socket is normally like a blue teal green and I say blue teal green because sometimes it's a teal, sometimes it's a blue, sometimes it's a green. It just depends on where you're at and the region of, of uh, form line and it can be all across. So it, it's really a blend, it just kind of depends on, on what, what, where, where, what location you're looking at here. So, you know, you'll just know that this is that either teal or bluish or, you know, like a light bluish or, or like a greenish. So to uh, indicate that that's another color, like a third tertiary color, I'm going to put in some checks in here, similar to what I did up top. You can go back and color this if you want. Paint, markers. All right, so this is gonna be like a teal or green or blue. This is a red. Uh, this is all black. It flows all the way around the design. Keep the teeth white unless you want to put some, I don't know, red in there. Maybe it just got done eating. This is going to be red. Uh, let's see, what else? This center eye is going to be black. And inside this white, this, uh, this eyelid is going to be a negative space. So the negative space is just going to be like white. This is also going to be a negative space in here. So that's going to be white. This T-shaped relief is also going to be a negative space. This spot right here is going to be a negative space. This is going to be a negative space. And up in the ear, uh, we have, this is red. This is going to be a negative, another negative, um, this is, let's say, blue, Oop, blue, or teal, or green, whatever you do here, you want to do there, you don't want to have like one blue and one green, it's going to be the same color. If this is teal, that's going to be teal, if this is blue, that's going to be blue. And this is also going to be red inside here. Am I missing anything? Oh, here's another one. Negative. This is also negative. Right in there. Okay. Am I missing a spot? I don't know. It looks like I got them all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. This is your gooch. Gooch head, your wolf. This is a, a way to do it. Uh, I would say 
maybe you make the mouth a little smaller if you were to do it again. I, I ended up getting a little uh, a little out there with the mouth. I don't know. It just ended up being a little bigger than, than normal. So uh, that's okay. It's just all for practice. It's all for fun. We're just learning. Just having fun. And um, yeah, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And um, yeah, good luck. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. Tsuye Yekwasatin. We will see you again. Tsuye Yekwasatin. Goodness cheese. Cheese.